Welcome back everyone. Today we're talking supplements. I am going to share my empties with you. Uh, I typically share my supplement empties in my monthly or bi-monthly empties videos, but I made a little switch this year for 2023 and I am planning on doing my empties separate uh, so that they're a little bit shorter video and they really just cover one topic. Today I'm going to share my supplement empties with you and maybe a few food items as well. Before I start sharing the empties, I want to go over a couple of things when it comes to vitamins and supplements. It is not uncommon for people to want to know what others take, especially for me, a health and wellness coach. It's not uncommon for me to be working with a client and they want to know what I take for supplements and vitamins. And it's really a hard question to answer because typically when someone asks that, they're they're starting their their wheels are spinning and now they feel that maybe they should take those. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Ideally, we would all be in a physiological state where we didn't need to take any vitamins or supplements. But our food supply today is very compromised when it comes to bringing the nutritional value that our bodies need. I understand some people don't believe in supplementation. They don't believe in taking vitamins. And often these are the people that will say you should be getting everything from your diet. Well, I eat a very clean diet. In fact, not too long ago, someone asked me, do you eat like an 80-20 or what do you eat? Well, I don't prescribe to anything like that. I just eat <laughs> nutritionally dense, clean food every single day, all year long, but I do celebrate as well. And what I mean by that is I will eat restaurant food. I will eat food at a wedding reception. I do eat when I'm socializing and that's not going to be nutritionally dense, clean food. If you're eating at a restaurant, even if it's a farm to table, good luck proving to me that you're not eating something that falls in the standard American diet. But I'm not here to debate on this. That is just something you won't see me put value in. But when it comes to supplementation, it's a really difficult topic because everyone is going to be different. And while when I work with a client in health and wellness coaching, we will talk supplementation. It could take up one whole session. I am always going to encourage them to get their blood work done and always start with hormones. So key. And also, you need to be educated. You need to be your own health advocate and you need to be educated on what it is that you want to be tested on because most often, and health insurance does play a role, they're not going to cover everything, that's where you want to have a good practitioner, a functional practitioner that is really open to listening and hearing what you're saying and what your concerns are and how you're feeling so that they can order the appropriate blood work, the appropriate test for you to take. I get my blood work drawn for different things all throughout the year. So my hormones, we're checking quarterly right now instead of once a year because I'm phasing into menopause. I'm right at the very end of perimenopause uh, and my levels are showing it and there's a lot of signs and symptoms that are showing that I'm at that ending stage. So we want to stay on track of it so that we can make sure that my HRT protocol or program is appropriate for me. So telling someone else what to do, even though people do that, they try to. I've been told many times, oh, just start taking progesterone, Tracy. You'll sleep so good. It works great. Well, I've been on progesterone for hmm, maybe eight years. <laughs> so it's always interesting when people share with you what's worked for them. A lot of it is going to be gauged on how you're feeling, what your energy levels are, 
what's going on with your hormones. Maybe cortisol panel would be a great one to have checked. But again, you know, we're limited in what our health insurance is going to cover. So this is really going to be a conversation between you and your functional practitioner. And I strongly encourage you work with someone that comes from a functional base because they are often going to be a little more educated and knowledgeable of supplementation. Um, health and wellness practitioners, health and wellness coaches like myself have a lot of education in supplementation as well, but we would we never proclaim to be a doctor. So it's really that partnership. While I can encourage my clients of what tests they may want to have checked, they re we really need to have those results back to really have a concrete plan. The other thing I'm not a fan of is mixed formulas. So this would be blended ingredients. Um, I am a, I prefer single ingredient formulations. So if I am going to take vitamin C, I would like it to just be vitamin C. Sometimes that's hard to find. I think my vitamin C has rose hips or something in it, but I'm really looking for the majority of it to be a single ingredient. A couple of reasons, often you are going to have better formulations when it's a single ingredient versus a bunch of different ingredients. I've never taken a multivitamin, ever. I've never been on a multivitamin. How would you ever know what's working for you? I do have a supplement that is a K2 D3 combination. Um, but I'm trying to weed out anything that has that is not single ingredient. So I'm always on this journey as well. I also change things periodically. Again, my blood levels will indicate that. But my biggest tips for you right now, if you are new to supplementation, is blood work and then think in single formulations because you also are going to need that single single ingredient to know if something is working. If you're taking a B complex and it has all the B vitamins, how do you know if you're B12 deficient? Maybe you only need B12. Maybe you need B12 and B6. Um, it's really better to stick with a single ingredient. Also, some things like B12 are great sublingual versus a pill that you would swallow. So I have a lot of things that through trial and error and working closely with my functional medicine doctor that I have learned, but I have been my own health advocate. Um, it is not me just going in there and my practitioner running the show. I'm doing more of the talking, she's doing more of the listening, and then we bounce that ball back and forth with certain questions. So that is what I would encourage you to do. Um, I would love to work with you with health and wellness, and we can talk about some things based on how you're feeling. But again, I'm gonna be encouraging you to get those blood draws taken place and, and check off those, those boxes for tests and see where your levels are. Also, when you get your blood work back, being in range is not always optimal. So you want to get educated, especially if you're suffering in some area. Maybe it's energy, maybe it's sleep. For me, um, it's always the sleep. I'm on a new cocktail right now, and I don't wanna say that it's working great, but I also don't wanna say it's not. I have to be careful what I say because I'll eat my words, but I am on a new sleep cocktail right now. It is aggressive. It's no pharmaceuticals. I take no pharmaceuticals whatsoever, minus my HRT. So that's really my biggest tip and advice for you. But let's just quickly dial through my empties. I'm not gonna go into any details. Feel free to search the web on anything that I share with you today. Again, I'm changing things and trying new things and eliminating things all the time, working closely with my practitioner. But if anything sparks interest, I encourage you to search it on a non-bias site so you don't want it to be on a site that is promoting what I'm talking about. Sure, they're going to give you all the benefits. You want to be checking and get your information on a non-bias site. So let's dive into my empties. And again, I'm just gonna rattle through. Um, check out my recent What I Eat in a Day if you want to know more about what I'm eating, my thoughts around eating, and 
I'll have a library of, of a lot of videos if you want more information. The other thing, let me share this. Taking my supplements is never an issue. I am I have been taking I have been on a supplement routine for so many years of my life. It comes by nature. I don't have to task this. You know, I'm a taskless girl. I don't have to task this. I don't have to set reminders unless I'm like on a vacation or something, but sometimes I don't even, I just want simple and I don't even take them with me. I use these containers for daytime and I have a nighttime one for my bedtime cocktail that I fill about once every week or once every week and a half with all of my vitamins. I work from home. So I just know all throughout the day I'm taking my supplements. So it works for me. This is not an area that I struggle with. I know many people do. In coaching, we will work on a plan to ensure that you are taking your supplements at the correct time and correct ones with each other. For example, your fat soluble vitamins with your fat soluble vitamins, maybe while eating something that has a fat in it. So I help in that area all the time with my clients. So if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one support, look into my coaching packages, but let's cycle through my empties. Because it's been a while, you're going to see some duplicates. And these are in no particular order. They're not in an order that I take them in. It's just a hodgepodge. <laughs> we have vitamin B6, vitamin K2 plus D3. Now I do take a D3 supplement on its own, uh, but this one has K2 with D3. So I'm getting an extra dose of D3, which is something that I was deficient in. Most people are, believe it or not, most people are. Here we have the vitamin D3. I have a blood sugar support. I will share with you that I only take a blood sugar support when I am eating, let's say a celebratory or cheat meal. I know some people have negative energy <laughs> around a cheat meal. That's fine. Then call it whatever you'd like or just cheat all the time. <laughs> I don't have negative energy about my celebration meals. I don't, food doesn't control me. I am in charge. I manage it. I'm not saying that sometimes I may not have more than what I desire, but most often if I have more than what I desire, I'm choosing it. I know what the repercussions could be. <laughs> anyway, blood sugar support. I usually will take this along with a digestive enzyme, which I don't think I have an empty one of. And it's really just to help me digest that food and help with the insulin spike you're going to get from standard American diet food. Yes, you heard me. A couple of ginkgo biloba. <laughs> I have an old video, oh, just so funny. Um, supports brain function and memory, also um, circulation support. I, I think I have maybe a few left. I'm going to step back from this one for a bit. I do that. It, yes. Then I bring it back on again, someone's supplement journey, someone's food journey, someone's exercise journey. It's really their journey. It's really their journey. And I would love to help you find your journey and learn to tune out the noise of the world, right? So if you want to take something and then all of a sudden say, no, nope, not gonna take it for a while, great, great, right? Right, it's your journey. I have three empty citrus cell. This is calcium. I would say this is very common for women above 50 to take. Most uh, functional practitioners would recommend women over 50 to take calcium supplements. But again, I will let you find out from your practitioner. Three glucosamine. This was recommended to me for joint pain, for joint health. And I can tell you that since incorporating this in my repertoire, 
I have not had issues. You'll see that I have the number three written on there. That just helps me when I refill. I also had a personal assistant work for me in quarter four of 2022, and she did my filling of vitamins weekly. So I would have the number on everything just to help her. She actually created a document to assist her as well. It was a beautiful thing. I miss having her, but that was really to get me through a very busy season of my year. Um, quarter four is always really busy because of holidays and all the hats that I wear and all of my active roles. So um, yeah, these are numbered. Definitely helped. Oh wow, I have four of them. Wow, let me go through those. Dandelion root, and I have a dandelion root here. Um, I do incorporate this sometimes. It's an herbal supplement. There, it, It's a diuretic herb, so it, you have to be careful with it, but there's a purpose that sometimes I utilize this for, and it works for me. Ashwagandha. Um, yeah, I... I I'm still taking this and I think I will continue. Um, I've stepped away at times, but no, I, I'm continuing. Magnesium glycinate, which has been part of my sleep cocktail. This is 400 milligrams. The most that you should take is 1200 and I take that. You don't want to start out taking that or, or go for it. You just go for it. Let me know what happens. <laughs> no, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. You want to work your way up. I am on 1200 milligrams per recommendation of my functional practitioner, but I have switched to magnesium theanate. So magnesium glycinate is wonderful for sleep Theonate is as well. And my new sleep cocktail, I am doing the magnesium theonate, right? Yeah, I believe so. I'll have it linked. One thing I'm not currently taking and I haven't for a couple of months is a probiotic. So I've stepped back from taking a probiotic. Um, that doesn't mean that's going to continue it's, I have my reasons for stepping back and I'm not saying I'm against taking a probiotic, just some trial and error that we are doing currently for me. Um, so right now, not taking it. Emptied two of my Transparent Labs BCAA Glutamine. I take this daily, even during my recovery. As you know, a week ago today, right? Or would it be two weeks ago? Two weeks ago? <laughs> Depends on when this video goes out. I am still recovering from surgery. If that is new information to you, I will have a link in the description box below where I talk about my surgery. My surgery was on Friday, May 10th. So whatever, I don't know what today is. But anyway, I'm still taking this, still back on all my supplements. But yes, glutamine year round. This is the only protein powder that I will use is the Beverly UMP. For about 12 years, I was a distributor of this. Some of you may have gotten your protein from me. No longer am I doing that just it's just a pain to be a distributor and shipping it out. This flavor is cookies and cream. Um, one of the reasons that I only utilize this whey protein is taste is very important to me. Um, my food, while I am a clean eater, it has to taste good. And I have truly found that this is the only brand of whey protein that tastes good and it checks off all the boxes as far as the ingredient list. Um, low carb, low fat, works for me. Speaking of protein though, in a pinch, I will have a premier protein. I actually have some in the refrigerator right now. 
Um, I prefer to have all of my food be a whole food and not have to resort to something like this, but if I'm being completely honest, I have a really busy life and these are perfect when I'm on the road to pack with me, so I do like to have them on hand. Chocolate is great, vanilla is great. I love the, I think it's called cake batter. It's a great one. So I'm going to go to something like this versus a bar. Like most people would open up a bar, some type of granola bar um, loaded with sugar. I'm gonna go with something more like this or a tuna packet or something like that. I don't know if I have any tuna packets over there, but raw fountain juice. I do incorporate juices at times. It works for me. Um, I don't have any issues. And I, I, my body operates best on a high protein diet. So I wouldn't be on a high protein diet when I have these, but I've also found that sometimes my body responds really well when I mix something up. When I do something and it says, whoa, whoa, what are we doing? Yeah. Sometimes I get a positive response from that, believe it or not. Oh yeah, here's a tuna packet. Um, I, I like my tuna in the packets. I don't really care what brand. This is like a store brand. But tuna packets are a great meal or snack. Also, um, you know I'm funny with chicken, but I do like the Swanson White Premium Chunk Chicken Breast that comes in a can. I just strain it, run it under cold water, kind of, you know, get it to my liking. And then, uh, because, because I like a high protein diet, you're always trying to figure out where am I going to get my protein from. Nettle leaf tea bags. Nettle leaf is also, did I, I took nettle leaf also for my joint pain. I actually still have some. So I think I took a, took the rest of what was in the pouch and put it in a sealed container. But if you have joint pain, nettle leaf is a great uh, supplement or a tea. Again, glucosamine, um, tart cherries is also great for joint pain as well. And you can get that in tablet and liquid form. A couple other tea, because I just sometimes drink tea. <laughs> no better way to put it. Yerba mate. So we have that. We have a dandelion root tea, which I had showed you dandelion root and supplement. And then here's a nighty night extra. I didn't really notice uh, where the nighty night tea did much for me, so I wouldn't spend my money there. Uh, emptied a pink Himalayan salt. Already replaced this. We have an empty cream of rice cereal. This uh, is a great post-workout carbohydrate. Often I will have cream of rice cereal or I will have oatmeal. Grits can be really great. Some of these are your fast um, absorbing carbohydrates, which I know get a really bad rap. You know, the whites get such a bad rap, but I don't, I kind of tune the noise of the world out. And I believe there can be a place in some people's diet, but typically it is going to be someone who trains really hard. Not someone who just incorporates a little physical activity, which again is not exercise in my book. We'll talk more about that in coaching. But if you train, if you are on a training program, you train your body. You know what I mean by that. There could be a purpose for this. And again, we would talk about that in your one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's actually a little left of this apple cider vinegar with mother. I will use that up. And then I love my Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company Multi-Purpose Umami Seasoning Blend. Already have another one. I top this on a lot of my food just gives it that nice added flavor. I don't cook with it. Uh, it's just something I sprinkle on top. There you go. Don't forget, Three Week Intense is coming up starting Monday, April 10th, the day after Easter. 
Uh, I'll have a video next week talking more in depth about that, but there will be a link in the description box below where you can register and get more information on 21 days of intense habit forming, habit breaking, so that you can execute and deliver in your goals so that you can live a life of health and vitality for the rest of your life. Join me. All right. <laughs>